Welcome to Tentative Title with Tim. This is a podcast about creativity, about process, about filmmaking, and about screenwriting. Welcome everybody to the show. So, um, I'm recording this a bit early, so I, I don't actually know what has happened uh, since the election, um, and I don't really want to get into it anyway, but, you know, if you're listening to this and you're like, hey, why aren't you talking about some crazy thing that happened after the election, you'll know why, um, because I have no idea. I, I wish I was, you know, I could see into the future, but, uh, I can't, and, you know, I just got to be honest with you that I just... I wish I could, but I can't. And that kind of brings me around to what I wanted to talk about today, which is uh, the idea of honesty and the, the, the honesty in our writing and the, um, you know, if you are an actor or if you're a director, like how, how do you find that point when you feel like you're being the most honest, when you're writing a scene or you're directing actors or you're, you know, you're in a character so much that you walk away from the, you know, whatever you were doing and you're like, wow, that was, I felt that honesty. I, 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 I felt like it was real life being projected back to me and I, and I, I could relate to it and I, I could, um, I, I, I felt like there were other human beings uh, on the other side that, you know, that I, I could f- feel, I could empathize with them. I, 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 you know, I know they're characters, but like, I, I just, they felt like they felt real to me or, or as an actor, it's like, I felt like I was a character. I felt in, in that moment, I, I, it felt real. And I gotta say, it's one of the, I guess, paradoxes of being in the arts is that there's so much on the technical side where you just have to know how to how to get a performance as a director or you know as an actor there's so much preparation that you have to do to um be able to tap into that that raw uh emotion and then as a writer you know you kind of have to uh just know the uh you know how the structure of a scene um you know what characters need to be in a scene in order for your themes to come through you know there's so much on the technical side that is important to be there as like the foundation that allows you to be honest in the moment like you've done all that prep work you you've you've studied or you you you, you've done enough of not being honest in order to understand what it feels like to be honest when when you're when you're in that moment and i just i and okay so and then there's the the other side where it's like all honesty you know you're just like i'm laying it bare it's raw, it's, it's unrefined. And that is also like to the detriment of what you're doing as well, because if you're being too honest, if you're, if you're laying it out raw, there's no form, there's no, um, there's no way in which you can, uh, you know, the, in which the, the audience will be able to, uh, take that in and, and to actually, have it mean something to them and uh i i just i i find it a you you know like this 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 paradox and uh, especially uh you know in terms of like being on a film set there's so much happening on a film set that it's sometimes amazing that an actor can drown out all the noise um uh you know that they can just get right into the scene and they're like, you know, I'm going to live here in this scene between action and cut. I'm living in this scene. There's nothing else happening around me except for the other actor uh, or, or actors, you know, whatever it is happening in the scene. They're just they drown out the everything to be present as that character. And then to 
you know, switch out of it and switch back into it. You know, it's just, it, it's amazing to watch and it takes a lot of focus. And I, I just, I, I like that, that is just, you know, I, I'm, I'm uh, like amazed by it. Um, at, you know, but how, how do you get there? Like, how do you know when you're reaching that, that honest point? Uh, because, okay. So I did start out uh, as an actor and there were uh, plenty of times when, well, I started out as an actor in the theater. And so I don't want to say it's easier to fake a performance in the theater, but you can at least like uh, the theater is more about what is on the outside than in, than what is uh, on the inside. Like you could project and 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 you know like you you, you can give a performance on the surface that doesn't necessarily have to like penetrate who you are as a person. Like it's, it's a facade. Um, but in, in film, you know, it's like, you got to dig deeper because like the camera is going to detect all of the lies. It's going to see all the false moments. It's going to like, it, it's just, it, it reveals so much more. And so, um, th- there were plenty of times on, on stage where I would give a performance and, you know, I just would feel like I didn't nail it or I just I didn't feel like I was in that moment and you know some audience would you know know, talk to me after the show and they would say wow that was really great like you know I I saw so and so well uh, so and so you know do the same part and like you did it you know way better or whatever and 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 who knows if if they were you know being being honest about it you know they might have just been nice but um but that that I found that that's usually the case that, you know, the, not just me, but with like other actors when they're, when they kind of felt the most, uh, the, the most crappiest, I guess you could say, like they just felt terrible about their performance. Um, that's where I guess the facade was kind of peeled away and, and they were performing from a place of, um, of just the, their, the, the moment, the, like the, the, the momentary, uh, uh, like emotion of the scene and not trying to, um, you know, protect, uh, th- th- protect the moment of like, Oh, well I say this at this point and so-and-so is supposed to cry at that point, And, you know, like the, the, the way it was like planned out and rehearsed. Um, but in terms of like film, it's, it's, it's a completely different, uh, uh, you, you know, the way of, of, of reaching inside and, and, and finding, um, you know, whatever it takes to 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 bring that reality um, uh, to life for that short amount of time between action and cut, and um, and it's it, it, you know it 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 takes a, a lot more to reach that point, and uh, you know I just it, I th- I think it really has to do with kind of. Uh, you know, I, I, I consider, um, you know, in this business, there's a lot that you kind of have to protect and, you know, you got to protect your pride. You got to protect like there's, there's so much about, you know, like protecting your work, protecting, um, you know, your vision, uh, you know, protecting, um, you know the money. You know there, there's there's all kinds of things that you just have to have have to protect and guard. And when it's time to like let like let all that kind of peel away, um, to give a performance or to pull a performance out of an actor, or um, to to sit down and write a scene that uh, has the these real moments between characters. Um, it's kind of like you just got to like step back and say, okay, well, this is not about all the, all the noise around the project. This is just about this moment about like what's happening now. And it's a a, a very kind of like Zen, uh, mindset that you kind of have to like, uh, get into, which is really difficult, especially now, like the, at every moment of the day, 
there is something pulling at my attention. Like there, even if it's not something that is, that is actively trying to pull at my attention, it's something that I've kind of like allowed to take up my attention, you know, like I'll jump on social media or like I'll want to watch like some YouTube videos or something like that. There's always something that, that is kind of like, um, stopping me from digging deeper, stopping me from finding that honesty. Uh, and, and sometimes it's just the, 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 um, I'm just impatient. Like, I just want to get this scene onto the page or, you know, we're on set and it's like, we just need to get this scene. Like we're, we're running out of daylight. We just, we need to get this scene. Like, and I'm sure it feels that way with actors where they're like, we've done like 50 takes. I just want, I, I just want to get, I just want to move on. Can we director, can we move on because I've done this scene 50 times and I'm tired of it and I don't want to do it anymore. I've given you all the coverage you need, you know, stuff like that. And I guess that's kind of like, maybe that's where the honesty comes from is just the impatience that we feel about our, our state as human beings. Like we're just, we're so impatient that, all we can do is just go straight to the 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 honest reaction. Um, you know, what is this scene about? Uh, you know, what is this film about? Like, w- what do I need to do as a director to get this performance? Like, w- w- you know, like it just kind of cuts out all the garbage, all the noise, all the all the things that distract us. And I think that's like where the honesty lies is just in. I, I don't want to say it's in a frustration but it's in this 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 ability to cut through the noise and say what is this about like whatever it is what whatever you're working on you just say what is this about and going right to it you know being very direct being very much about like i'm not here to have small talk i'm not here to have coffee I'm here to get to what the work is. I'm here to get to what the truth of the scene is. I'm here to get to, like, w- what this is about. And, you know, through talking about this right now, I think I've, I'm growing to understand more about, like, my own process, my own way in which I get to the honesty of my work. Because it really does have to do with frustration for me. Like, I just reach a point where I just, I, I'm done with, with you know, running uh, around in circles, you know, with a story that I'm writing. Or, um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm tired of, of, of just something. And I just want stuff to get done. <laughs> you know, I'm just like, I, that's it. However we get there, we get there. I'm peeling off all pride all the like all the the blocks the garbage the walls like all of it is coming down i just need to get to this place and i think you know maybe i'm the only one who who happens to do this but i i have this feeling that a lot of honesty just comes from the sheer frustration of of like you know your your you know of our our situation of um the state of the world of of you know the the injustice in whatever you have have on your mind where you're just like no things are not supposed to be like this like it's supposed to be simpler it's supposed to be more direct like there's so much garbage in the world like there's there's so much that, that this world is being cluttered up with like let's just get to the point like let's just go there like the, what what's stopping us just go just go <laughs> just get to the point um so anyway uh you know i i just i i th- i think if we you know if we we get to that point of honesty with everything like our work's going to be a lot better uh i th- i i think we're just going to the, our audiences are going to appreciate us more you know they're they're, they're going to want more of what we're giving if you know we're not like constantly like if we're not giving false beats in in our stories if we're if we're giving you know honest performances if we're you know as directors we're 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 challenging our actors to like dig deeper and to you know um you know 
find like better ways to convey you know our themes and the you know the way in which we put like our 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 shows and our our, our like like films together are just are more um f- from a, a a place of like you know of of honesty of like well what is this film about and if it's a film about nothing then fine it's a film about nothing but like make sure that every frame you know says this is a film about nothing you know um and then you know as 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 actors like digging deep and and saying you know like i i'm willing to look and and feel like these characters because that is like what is needed to get to get to the truth of this scene you know and uh i mean uh, obviously i'm not i'm not here to like you know to um get yeah you know get give advice to uh, uh to actors but if you know if you ha- happen to be an actor you know it's just like that that's that's all the that that's all the job is is just get like the hitting marks saying lines and being de- being damn honest you know so anyway um that's all i got for today uh you know i you know like i said i'm recording this early so i have no idea what the state of the world is right now the what the state of of america is in right now um i i you know but i'm uh, this is not a political podcast so i'm just here to talk about film and tv and uh and writing and the arts and stuff so you know i'll leave that to to other uh more intelligent people to decipher so anyway uh so I hope everybody's has been safe and and you know washing your hands and wearing masks and uh, uh, you know social distancing and and the whole thing and you know we'll 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 find a way out of this um, you know but eventually um, I'm we'll, we'll we'll have clearer answers and and we'll have medicine and. Um, you know, I, I, my hope is that we look back at this time and say, wow, that was, remember that time back in 2020? Yeah, that was kind of weird. I never want that to happen again. (laughs) And so anyway, uh, uh, that's it for today. So, uh, until the next one. Also, if you haven't uh, done this already, um, I have a Twitter account for the podcast. It's at title underscore Tim. And uh, I also have a Facebook uh, page as well, and you can subscribe to that, and I will put episodes up there and and any updates. Um, So, yeah, uh, come on by, say hi, and, uh, you know, yeah, till the next one.